Do you really need energy drinks at all, ever? And if so, which ones are the best? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog, and today's topic is about energy drinks. I guess uh, we're fitting this into our low carb Sundays, I believe, because um, I, I think that uh, it fits into that category. But you know, our opinion, just from the top here, is that I don't think anybody needs energy drinks. If you have the proper diet, and uh, that should give you all the energy you ever need. You should never need an energy pick me up, but. You know, some people do get uh, work really hard or have a bad night's sleep and they're a little bit, I guess you could say, sluggish. Uh, and in those situations, I, I think just regular black coffee or a, a cup of hot tea, black tea, um, would work really well. If, you know, put some cream in it. No sugar ever because that just spikes you up and brings you down. Um, but, you know, Matt, energy drinks are a very big industry. I think we did a, a little story about it recently about how like the entire wall of at any convenience store is filled with energy drinks, like dozens of different energy drinks, all filled with chemicals and bad, uh, and too much sugar or bad sugar or just, it's just bad. I looked at one of the drinks, the, I think it was five hour energy, had like 1% of this vitamin. You could just take a pill and you'd be better off with it. But you know, other than coffee and tea, I, you know, there are some energy drinks that sort of meet the, uh, I guess, quota of not being bad. And I, I re don't recommend any of those little five hour energy things. Those are the worst. They're probably addictive too. I, I think I've tried them in the past and, and they just made me all jittery and stuff. But I found two. And the rule of thumb with finding is find things that with zero carbs, if possible, zero. And I found one here. It's called the clean energy drink. It's called Runa Zero. And I'll put a picture up here if, if I can find one online. But this one has uh, 150 milligrams of caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar. Although this does have one gram of carbs per can, which is really, that is not enough. And they have all their buzzwords. I'm not going to read the buzz phrases, the feel good energies. I mean, they have all the organic logos and it's clean. The word clean, it's just ridiculous. But this was... Um, why uh, I can't even pronounce it. The uh, water, and then there's some. There was some pear juice in it, and natural flavor, of course, which is probably has some MSG in it. Watermelon, and so on. This wasn't bad. I think I think I remember putting it in a mixed drink, but it's not nearly as bad as some of the other energy drinks out there. And I found something like this at Ot Ocean State Java, which means it's probably going to go out of business. This one is a lightly caffeinated. It's called Limitless Sparkling Water. Limitless sparkling water. This is a lightly caffeinated cucumber pear drink. And this has 35 milligrams of caffeine, which is about a fifth uh, quarter of the other thing there, which has a lot more caffeine. This has zero carbs, zero sugars. It's just basically reverse osmosis water, natural flavors again, which they can squeak MSG in, and caffeine derived from fresh, not stale. Uh, coffee beans, but these things, I guess, if you if you want a little flavor variety, these things aren't so bad. But I, I still recommend, you know, just get a good night's sleep, drink plenty of water, have a nice low carb diet, and you will have all the energy you ever need. You won't feel tired or lethargic. Just don't eat the junk food, and you'll be all right. But you know, I guess there are some energy drinks out there that aren't so bad. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe. It would help us out a lot, and I'll see you next time.